Now in part C, we're asked to find the exact value of i, the integral from 0 to 5 of e to the root of 3x plus 1. Now in order to do this, we're asked to use a substitution, t equals 3x plus 1 to the half. So if we're going to use substitution, let's just take you through that idea that if we're asked to integrate any function of x with respect to x, we can change the variable by substitution to f of x and instead of having dx we can call this dx by dt and then multiply that by dt. And It's that idea that I'm going to use. My f of x is e to the power root of 3x plus 1 and the substitution that we're given is t equals 3x plus 1 all to the power half, the square root in other words of 3x plus 1. So first of all I need to find dx by dt but I can't do that straight away until I find dt by dx. So if I differentiate t with respect to x I'm going to need the chain rule. Using the chain rule this becomes one half of 3x plus 1 and we drop the power by 1 so that's minus a half and then multiply it by the differential of the 3x plus 1 and that becomes 3. Cleaning this up we get 3 over 2 and the 3x plus 1 to the minus half is the same as putting the 3x plus 1 down below but saying it's to the power a half. Now we wanted dx by dt so dx by dt becomes the reciprocal of this, it's like turning it upside down if you like. We get 2 over, sorry, 2 times 3x plus 1 to the power a half all over 3. Alright, so I'm going to now substitute this in for dx as long as I put this dt alongside it. So we have that this integral becomes the integral from, well, we'll talk about the limits in a minute, don't go in putting 0 to 5, but we have f of x, so that is going to be e to the square root of 3x plus 1. In place of dx, we're going to write dx dt dt. So that's going to be this value here, 2 bracket 3x plus 1, then to the power half over 3, and then we have the dt on the end. Now for the limits, you've got to be so careful here. What we've got is the two limits, the lower limit first of all when x is 0, we get the corresponding t value by putting 0 into this equation up here. So when t is 0, we get 3 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1, and then we have the square root of 1, which is 1, so t equals 1. So you put t equals 1 in the bottom here, and then we have the upper limit when x is 5. So when x equals 5, we put 5 into this formula here, so 3 fives are 15 and 1 is 16, square root of 16 is 4, so t equals 4, put that limit up here. Now we need to change this function of x into a function of t because we're integrating with respect to t. So we have the integral then from 1 to 4. Now the square root of 3x plus 1 was t, so this becomes e to the t. Then we have the 2 multiplied by 3x plus 1 to the half, that 2 was t, so we have 2t and that's over 3, multiplied by, or integrated I should say, with respect to t. And if I tidy this up, 
I've got the integral from 1 to 4 of 2 thirds t e to the t integrated with respect to t. And we were told to express the integral i in the form, okay, going from a to b of k t e to the t dt and state the values of a, b and k. And you can see that this has got this particular pattern or this particular format. So we can say then that where clearly a, the lower limit, is 1, all right, b is clearly the upper limit 4, and k is the value 2 thirds, the constant 2 thirds. So that brings us then to the end of part C.